I thought that the whole saga of the house flood was over. You guys, it's not. It continues. This many people should not be getting scammed into the same situation in the same neighborhood. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Can you hear me? Because my mic is all the way over there and I'm a little paranoid that the sound isn't going to be working very well in this video. But we're gonna do our best to get through this and to make it as enjoyable for you guys as possible. I'm not really sure if very many of you guys are still interested in any of the updates that we have about our house scam, house flood situation, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain that further in just a minute. But before I do that, I need to explain to you guys why I'm in my kitchen. Because you're probably like, Kylo, why are you in your kitchen? We are filming a bake with me. I don't know why I grabbed this bowl to tell you guys that. I did one of these about 10 or 11 months ago, something like that, where I made Andy's mint cookies. I thought I would incorporate incorporate some updates on some life stuff because it's been a long time since I've talked to you guys my human human level except I do it all the time in my members content so if you guys are not a member please consider becoming a member of my channel by clicking that join button down below or go to youtube.com slash Kyla K-Y-E-L-U-H slash join you'll get special badges that I made myself of cute little heart bubble tees that will pop up next to your name showing everybody that you are a supporter of my channel you also get vlogs and chill videos share more of my life and all that good stuff but today what we're going to be making today is we're going to be making a coffee cake and this is not my recipe I found the most popular recipe online and uh, we're doing this because we're celebrating me hitting 80,000 subscribers for the second time not every youtuber gets to say that so we're celebrating and I actually kind of thought I was like maybe if I celebrate hitting 80k I won't lose like five to six thousand followers over the span of like half a year we're putting the good vibes out there you know what I'm saying we're putting out the good vibes that we're gonna get to 90k next not hit 80,000 for three times so I'm making a coffee cake to celebrate so if you guys subscribed and helped me hit 80k thank you guys so much for doing that and we're celebrating today unfortunately you can't taste this but I'll let you guys know what it tastes like as soon as it's done we'll have a taste test together but without further ado let's go ahead and get into this bake with me and this update on a house flood that I know that you guys want to hear about more than anything so I'll give it to you guys right at the very beginning if you guys want to cook this recipe with me I'm gonna go over all the ingredients for you guys so you know exactly what you need. If you wanna make this, see if this was a fail at the end of this video before you go to make it because we don't need another Andy's mint cookie situation. You're gonna need a cup of oil. You're going to need two eggs beaten, one teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of milk, one cup sugar, three cups flour, three teaspoons. <laughs> three teaspoons baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of brown sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one third to one half cup butter melted. I don't have a cup and a half of brown sugar and I really hope this isn't ruin this recipe because I only had what I had and we're gonna have to make do so use a cup and a half of brown sugar if you guys have it. I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best and as you guys can see we're not starting off to a very good Start. But one thing about this that to me is just like completely shocking and just disturbing is this uses a cup of oil. That feels like a lot of oil. And also it wants us to have the eggs beaten. So I'm gonna crack the eggs first. For my new subscribers that may not know this, my fiance and I lived in a house that had a severe flooding problem. And the um, people we bought the house from, they lied. We were basically scammed and I got eggshells in the coffee cake. Isn't this like good protein. Long story short, the sellers, they scammed us. They lied about having flooding problem. Mine and my fiance's lives were just, I do want to say they were ruined. At that time, nothing went right in our lives at that time. Literally nothing. Everything that could possibly go wrong did. Now I'm going to do this cup of oil, which is so much oil. Is it really a cup? Let me just double, triple check. It's a cup. Can I just do a little bit less? Don't tell anybody. That is a lot of oil. I'm going to need y'all to come over here and eat this because I am not trying to have a heart attack. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, the only thing in this recipe that isn't vegan is the eggs, but you can use flax seeds and water mixed together and it will give you 
literally the exact same result. No worries there. Just uh, skip the eggs, use another binder. Then we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna add a capful. I'm sure that's plenty. I just, sometimes I wing things. This is why my recipes don't always turn out the best. But anyways, I made that video and a lot of people came together and really helped Mark and I, my fiance, get out of that house. And so for a while, I did have updates on it because it seemed like, you know, we were still living it for a while because we still owned the house for a while when we lived here. And we were also having lawyers appointments around that time because we were trying to sue the sellers. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the sugar, flour, baking powder, and salt. But anyways, there is a lot of videos on my channel about the house flood situation. I have like a whole playlist about it. Um, so I do kind of share like why we weren't able to sue and like what kind of happened with that whole thing. But anyways, I thought that the whole saga of the house flood was over. You guys, it it's not, it continues. I got an update. My mom messaged me one day and long story short, like someone had reached out to her because they wanted to know some information. Apparently someone else in that neighborhood recently purchased a house that the seller said there was no previous flooding or anything, exactly what happened to Mark and I. Someone purchased a house in the same freaking neighborhood where guess what, the seller lied on the paperwork that there was no flooding and then these poor people move into their home and their house floods incredibly upset to hear about that. My mom told me and I'm like, are you joking? I don't know what house it is. I really hope that the people that bought our house didn't sell it and not be honest about the problem. But I guess if they really went to work on it and just fully focused on like fixing the house that they would probably be able to, able to fix it that quickly and sell it. But I just told them, I'm like, I hope that's not our house. Our friends still live in the town that we lived in. So whenever we go visit them sometimes we'll like take a little peek through the neighborhood we just like to like look and see did they do anything to the yard there was one day where we drove by and they had fixed the fence and so we're like okay great the last time we drove through the neighborhood which was fairly recently there was a little kid's bike in the yard and I was like I hope that was one of the neighbor's bikes and they just left it in the yard because I'm like did they really like take did they really fix everything that quickly okay now it says to combine the flour with the egg and it doesn't really say how much so I'm gonna do like a little at a time maybe like half like I was just really like oh a kid lives in there cuz you know like when we moved there like I was thinking babies and I had like that all in my head dreams were crushed of starting a family there with Mark because you know there was black mold all over the place it was just disgusting it flooded all the time like there was no way like we would have started a family there but like it's just so are you serious like, someone else bought a house there I don't know if it's that one or if it's another one in the neighborhood like we did a little bit of like looking to see when like houses were sold there and we saw that one was sold earlier this year and I was like is it that one the house that recently got sold was in the same little area that we lived in I just I feel so bad like someone is going through the same problem that we did if I knew who they were I would totally reach out to them the last time it rained here, like I literally was just thinking about them. I was like, I don't even know who these people are. I know by this type of rain that their house is flooding. What does this batter taste like? Okay, like this batter is so oily. You know, like that is not the best tasting batter I've ever had. It tastes like friggin' olive oil. It tastes like, did you mean to say a cup of oil? I hope this batter is not like a testament to the fact that I'm gonna have to hit 80K for the third time. So I'm gonna combine the streusel, which is the brown sugar, which I don't have as much as I'm supposed to have. I'm gonna be a little inventive and I'm gonna use white sugar too, which is not what you're supposed to do. And it probably isn't gonna be as good. It's just molasses, okay. Okay, it's just grandma's molasses. How much cinnamon is it? Two teaspoons of cinnamon. That's like not very much, is it? But it's crazy because like when Mark and I were talking about that situation, I was like, I can't believe it's been this long and we're still talking about that freaking house. I just realized it wants us to melt the butter because it wants us to put it on top. Now I have my little pan. I 
forgot to preheat the oven because I'm a freaking idiot. So I'm gonna be waiting on that for a hot minute, but I got this. And so what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to pour half of it, oh, into a lightly greased pan. We just needed to use more oil for the oily batter. I would have thought it would have been better to do like butter in it than oil, but whatever, that's what they said. Um, and then it says to pour half of the mixture into into here so i put half of it in sprinkle half of this on it Ooh, so i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna like ooh. gotta be honest this is a hundred percent why i gained weight and since 2020 started i like to blame it on depression but really it's just been snaps you know like i just want all the motherfucking snacks. Why be a skinny legend like they say on frenemies when you can just not be one and eat this? Top with the remaining batter. So we're gonna put the remaining batter on here. But anyways, I had to update you guys about that. And I was like, what should I talk about in my Bake With Me video? And I'm like, you know what? That is a situation that I feel like you guys would want to hear about. I just didn't want to get too many details about it because like, it, number one, it's not my business to get on the internet to talk about it. So I know it's very vague to just say, somebody there is having flooding, all that. But I knew that you guys would just be disgusted to hear that and I'm having trouble spreading this talk top layer, but you know what? We're gonna make it work. I think it's been too long, but I would have 100% went into like a joint legal thing if other people in the area had been having flooding flooding issues and like they wanted to. Like we could have like teamed up, combined our resources and like went hard on someone for this because this many people should not be getting scammed into the same situation in the same neighborhood. I know the city is, is taking care of it. Like they're doing their part like my mom was like you did a really good thing the whole city board like they all watched my video or were like sent my video about it and everything and i was like oh fuck that's really intimidating but it's a good thing because having our case and our situation blow up and get almost a million views on youtube and stuff and like the city having to deal with all that like i'm sure put a lot of pressure on them which i can imagine was really stressful but then you have someone else in the same neighborhood having the same problem coming to you so you know that like they're gonna take care of it so I think that whoever's living there now I'm hoping that they're having a better resolve and a quicker resolve than what Mark and I had because we lived there for far too long my last bake with me video oh by the way you have to top the rest with the sugar mixture uh, what was I saying oh in my last bake with me video like I was talking a lot about how Mark and I have been having like really bad allergies to things like my dairy intolerance has been so much worse since we lived there Mark can't eat so much many different things. He almost went into anaphylactic shock. What is that called? Like where he had a horrible allergic reaction. We had to go to the emergency room. That last bake with me video will be linked down below if you guys want to watch it. Doing our research into black mold, which was in the home, like we found that black mold and like having exposure to it for a long period of time can actually cause you to have allergic reactions to things. Quick pause from that talk to take a sip of my coffee. Now we have to melt the butter. Then I'm going to show you guys up close what this looks like before we put it in the oven, which will be a hot minute because I'm an idiot and I forgot to preheat the oven so don't be like me now we're going to take this pour it over the top this is what it looks like before it's going in the oven my layering job was really shitty like I a hundred percent put more <laughs> of the batter on the bottom before you put it in the oven you're going to want to cover that with aluminum foil and then you're going to bake it at 350 degrees for 25 to 35 minutes then you take the foil off and bake for an additional 10 10. So I have my timer set for 25 minutes. I'm gonna check it, see what it looks like. While I do that, I'm going to take care of these dishes because it's the last thing I wanna do, which means it's the thing I should probably do. I'll see you guys when it's done. It's been like a thousand, <laughs> I feel like it's been so long since I was filming this earlier. Way too much butter on the top. Do not use that much butter, whatever you do. That was an absolute disaster that I regret. Like I literally had to get a cup and like scoop part of the butter off because the inside, of the coffee cake wasn't cooking because there was so much butter like but let me show you guys what it looks like this is what it looks like here's my concern my concern is that it's still not done on the insides oh honey are you trying to fold that ain't done 
Well, I am sad to inform you that episode two of my Bake With Me was just as much of a fail as the first one. However, we will not go empty handed. I have one more oatmeal raisin cookie left. I didn't even do a taste test with you guys. L let me back up, let me back up. You guys need to have the update for everything that was happening. I don't know the exact amount of time that has passed, but I know the stress that I feel is immense. <laughs> Please. I'm like trying to like put good vibes out into the universe for hitting 80K and then my coffee cake was a disaster. I swear, I followed this to a T. I did everything it told me to do. I guess the only difference is that I didn't use the um, size pan that they suggested. I used a different one. I had white sugar on top, which that's not gonna make <laughs> this happen. I put it back in for literally, it's it cooked for 20 to 25 more minutes and it was still just as raw on the inside as it was before I put it in there like this. Not only does this coffee cake not even have freaking coffee in it, but it won't cook. This, this coffee cake is possessed. It will not cook. Like it's possessed by Satan himself. I'm disturbed. I hope this video isn't cursed. New story time. <laughs> So anyways, I wanted to end this video with some more chats and I was gonna be eating my coffee cake, but I'm not waiting on that stupid fucker. Tried it, it was raw as hell. Oh, and not to mention, even though it was still raw, all I could taste was olive oil. It's a disaster um, 80K cake, but we're gonna eat this massive oatmeal cookie. And honestly, I don't even think I can eat all of it at this point because I kind of lost my appetite for sweet things after that situation. So I am eat half of it and I'm gonna leave the other half for Mark. But yeah, the gist of that talk, someone else in the neighborhood bought a house that also floods. I don't know which one it is. I don't know if it was ours, if it was someone else's. I couldn't find any listings where our house had been sold. So it could have been a private listing though. I really don't know. I feel like no one should be living in that neighborhood to be honest with you. I feel like everybody should be given um, housing somewhere else because I'm worried about everybody else that lives there. Thank you guys for 80K. I'm so glad you guys are here and I hope that you'll stay so that we can get to 90K and I could get to 100K because it's been my dream since 2015 to get that 100K plaque. Like I just want that as a physical representation of this period of my life on YouTube. Like who knows how long it'll last. I haven't quit yet. I've been doing it for six years. Oh my God, actually I literally, oh my God, I got a comment. <laughs> Most of the time, Mark, he deletes all my negative comments. Like if you leave me something that's salty or rude or you say something mean and you go back to look to see if I replied and it's not there, Mark most likely deleted that shit. He's amazing. He, he like sees that shit and he's like, you're like basically inviting people into your living room. You're creating content and you're putting it out there for people to watch. He's like, you should be able to choose who gets to comment because it's your video. He's like, you wouldn't just let a whole bunch of people in your living room to be rude. That's his reasoning for deleting all the negative comments. I always left them there in my life. I always left them unless they were saying something really nasty about like other people, then I would delete it. But he's like, no, like they're not allowed to comment on your channel if they're gonna be rude. And I'm like, you know what? Mark is right. Mark is usually right, but in this case, he was also right. But someone was basically like, and they're probably watching this too too, because I feel like people that comment this shit, they're snoopy little assholes. So somebody left me a comment and they were like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it the way that I read it. This is the tone of voice that I read it in. You're doing commentary now? What the fuck? Most people within six years of their life and career don't just sit there and do the same thing. Like, did you know that people have other creative outlets? Like people like to do more than just one thing sometimes. Some people like to stick to one thing, but other people like to change things up. And since the beginning of my channel, which you can't really see it now because most of my old content is private. In the history of me on YouTube, I've done so many different things. If you watch my videos or you're a subscriber, you know what you're getting with me. Don't like try and make people feel bad for like trying new things like that's a good thing it's normal I encourage everybody else to try something new if you ever feel bored or like you're stuck in a rut with something that you're doing like try something new it's a good thing the videos that I've done like on these topics they've been doing really well which means I'm doing really well at them and some people like them and if you don't that's totally okay if you like people on YouTube that stick to one thing and never switch it up and that's what piques your interest that's okay too but you don't have to leave salty ass, gross ass, negative ass, rude ass comments. 
okay? We really don't need any more of that. We need more kindness in this world. I'm 30 fucking years old. The most that your negative comment is gonna do to me is nothing because Mark's most likely gonna delete it before I even see it. I love him so much for that. Anyways, do whatever it is that you wanna do. And a lot of times when people leave little nasty comments like that, it's because they see something's doing really well and they wanna tear you down and try and make you feel like shit for it. And I say, fuck them, who cares? Anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video because I've been talking for far too long and you know what? Sitting about the rude people. This is about the 80 plus thousand people that have subscribed to my channel and that have like just made me the happiest. Like I'm so happy you guys helped me reach this again. When I switched to gaming content, I wasn't expecting as big of a loss as I experienced in so many ways, more than one. Like my pocket was struggling at that time. I was considering just not doing YouTube because it wasn't working out. But making the decision to have my gaming channel, which is Kai Game, and make this one more of a creative outlet where I just post what I want. I feel like it was the best decision. I feel so motivated with your guys' comments and your subscriptions. You guys have really made me excited about doing this again and have helped me realize why every time I get into a slump, I don't give up and I keep pushing forward and keep trying and everything always ends up working out. So thank you guys so much for subscribing and for being here. Yeah, we're gonna be back at it with some new content very shortly. I promise I'm not gonna all of a sudden be a bake with me channel. Oh my god, all of a sudden she's a bake with me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Free Britney, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>